All right, dear calculus friends, um, I'm going to go over this test here, the finals, and we'll go over this and see how this works. So here, this one requires uh, the 2.6 formula that Miss Wright is famous for. So we'll put y, oh, let's use a different color. Silly color, this one. Let's see how it went. Right, what we got? Let's get rid of this. Okay, great. So here we go. Um, so the 2.6 formula was y minus oops, f of the point that we're looking at. This is an a. I'm sorry. This is I'm doing this with a mouse, so it's not very practical here. So f prime of the point times x minus the x-coordinate of the point. Okay? So the point is right here, 3. So we have this. We have this a here we have. We need to find f prime. Let's see what f prime is. Here is f. So f prime is 2x minus 4, right? So f prime of x equals 2x minus 4. And that makes f prime of what is the x. We have to plug in the x coordinate of the point. f prime of 3 then equals 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4 is 2. All right? That's our f prime. So we have this one as well. So now we plug this all together. So it's going to be y minus the y coordinate of the point is minus 3 equals 2, that's the f prime of the point, times x minus the x coordinate of the point, which is 3. Okay. Now, this is the tangent, the equation of the tangent line. Now we have to just transform this to see which one of the choices here is that, and I'll leave that to you because that's the easy part, right? So you just multiply it out, shuffle it around, and see which one of those is the right one. Okay, next one. Let's come over here. What's going on here? Okay, so this here, which one of the following represents f prime of 4? Okay, so we're looking at the formula here for the definition of the derivative, which is limit of uh, as x approaches a which is the point, right? The point, the x-coordinate of the point is in here. So a must be 4. So now we're going to be looking for uh, x minus 4 down here. And uh, let's see, we're looking for f of x up here. So f of x is square root of x. And then minus f of 4 over here. What's f of 4? What's the square root of 4? Is 2. Okay? So just by plugging what we know, what our given function and the given point into the definition of the derivative, which is, you know, we're using the format of as x approaches a, um, f of a minus f of, I mean, f of x minus f of a over x minus a. And we just plugged in a for 4 for a and uh, the square root of 4 for f of a. Okay, now we compare which one is it and voila, this one right here is the one, b. Okay, next. Now let's move on over here. So in this case, we are looking at, let me turn my handy dandy pencil on. We are looking at the graph of f, okay? This is the graph of f, not the, the graph of f prime, but rather the graph of f. And now the question is, which one of the graphs further down below represent the graph of um, f of f prime of x? Okay, so what properties does the, or what characteristics does the graph of f prime of x need to have? Well, it needs to be above zero because here, the, um, the slope of the tangent lines on the curve of f is positive up to here. 
here it's going to be zero, right? Right here it's going to turn zero, but here in this whole section here is positive. Then it's going to be negative all the way to here where it's going to be zero again. Okay, so negative in between here, from here to here, and then it's going to be positive again, right? So there we have it. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now we just need, now the problem is I need to erase this nice little handy dandy drawing. No, I don't. I can just move it, okay, but I can't show you at the same time. So you can just then go here and by way of uh, elimination, um, you know, eliminate whatever doesn't work. So we had, it has to be starting above zero, then go to zero, then go to negative, and then go to zero again, and then go to positive. So this one is not going to work. Starts above zero, goes to zero, but doesn't have, never comes back up above above, above zero. So this one isn't going to work either. Uh, this one here doesn't even start above zero, so this is not going to be it either. What's going on with my pen? Come on. Let's see. Uh, something, some malfunction here. Okay, well. Um, so this one starts below zero. That's not it. This one starts below zero. That's not it. This one here, C, starts below zero, uh, above zero, and goes to zero. Then it's below zero, and then goes back to zero, and then goes above zero. Well, looks like that's going to be the one, right? Because it starts above zero, goes to zero, goes below zero, goes to zero, goes above zero. This is the shape down here that we need. Right? Starts positive, goes to zero, is in the negative, goes to zero, is in the positive. So that's the one. The answer is C. All right. Nice. Let's go to the next one, but I'm going to do a separate video for the next one.